We have everything. Yes. You got everything is all prepared. There was a yes. lot of stuff in this month's box that had to be prepared. Looks like some really good stuff, though. I'm kind it of does. interested in some of the things that are in here. It's time to open up the June edition of the Keto Box. And Anthony, a non-keto person, is going to let you know whether you should eat anything that's actually in here. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Joe. And I'm Anthony. And this is Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things, like recipe videos, and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now, you can find us on all kinds of social media, like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And also, don't forget to hit that bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. I'm excited about this box. Yes. So, if you're new to our channel, this is the Keto Box, and the Keto Box is a monthly subscription box. It's got about eight to 12 snacks in here, and what's nice about it is it's like a grab bag. You don't know what you're gonna get, and you get to try things without buying like, you know, a dozen of them at a time. Now this is Anthony, this is our middle son. Anthony is not a keto person, but he is a foodie. And he's got a really good judge when it comes to actually tasting different products, and also, uh, he doesn't have a filter. So, yeah. <laughs> he's gonna tell you like it's, it is. So here's how we do this. We're going to open up this box and Anthony and I are going to try everything in the box and we're going to let you know what the macros are and how much it costs. And then Anthony's going to let you know whether or not you should even go and bother wasting your money and buying it. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. We're going to start with this because I couldn't put it back in the box. Okay. So it's pancake and waffle mix. We actually had uh, cinnamon rolls from them, which were really, really good. All right. So... The ingredients in just the dry, just the dry, so not including the, what you have to add. Okay. So blanched almond flour, organic coconut flour, sweet lupin flour, organic Jerusalem artichoke inulin, organic psyllium powder, cream of tartar, baking soda, and sea salt. Okay. So it does have lupin flour, so if you uh, have a nut allergy or a bean allergy, you may not want it because lupins are a bean and that could affect you. Yes. Okay. So the nutrition facts. So let's see. So th they, they say that this can make around 24 pancakes. I never think that it's actually true because I think that when they say a pancake, they like meaning like very small. Okay. What do we have to add to it to make it? Uh, two eggs. So if you want to make six of them, you, okay. want, you have to add two eggs, half a cup of milk. We just subbed it for almond milk. Okay. And a half a cup of the mix. Okay. So this is the... Uh, Nutrition facts. So a serving size is one pancake or about one and two th two third tablespoon of the mix. Okay. Uh, total fat, 2.5 grams, five grams of total carb, three grams of fiber, one gram of sugar. So there is two grams of net carb. And I don't see anywhere. It doesn't say anywhere where it. I didn't hear any allulose no. or anything like that. I know on the front label it says one net carb, but I think that that is without the added in ingredients. That's probably right. Okay, are we gonna try this? Yes, I have taken some liberties. Okay. And I've added syrup and butter. What kind of syrup did we use? Whatever syrup that was in the fridge that was sugar oh, free. Oh, the Walden Farms. Syrup. Yes. Okay, okay. Oh, and you've got butter on there. Shouldn't we taste it with nothing on no. it? No. No? Okay. Well, you can't have pancakes without butter. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's okay. It's kind of grainy. It's almost like a whole wheat pancake, right? It's. I don't like it. No, not for me. I really like their cinnamon rolls, but the pancakes, yeah, they're they're okay. I prefer to just make our keto chow pancakes, honestly. Uh, price on that is nine dollars for the bag. Did it say how many like pancakes the whole bag's gonna make? Around 24. Okay, so nine dollars for 24 pancakes. Okay, but this is my problem though. You're used to IHOP size pancakes. Well, like this is this is this. So I made the sixth one, and I only got four. But this is the size of a pancake. 
But that's the normal size of a pancake. That's not the normal size of a pancake. You learned how to get the round shape from your mom, huh? <laughs> that's because this stuff didn't, it didn't want to, like, spread, spread out. Okay. What's next? Here. Oh, okay. It's my turn. I forgot. Simply Delish Natural Chocolate Flavor Instant Pudding. Now, I love pudding. So, okay. The ingredients in this are potato starch. Okay. Erythritol, cocoa, emulsifier, stevia, salt, and natural flavor. Wow. Okay, so there's four servings in a package. That's the whole package, I'm assuming. 30 calories per serving. Nine total carbohydrates with less than one gram of dietary fiber and four grams of sugar alcohol. That makes it five net carbs. The number one ingredient is potato starch. Um, I'm going to try it because I said we would try it. They're saying four net carbs, but... Um, I personally would never buy this with potato starch. Why are we using a fork to get pudding? I mean, it is it is definitely like a pudding like. So I'm gonna say this. Did you? Try I made it? a little mistake when I was making it. Okay. Did you try this yet? No. So the the mixing thing got me a little a little messed up because it says be one packet into two cups of milk and i saw two cups of milk I'm like well i can't use milk so then right next to it it says of milk substitute so i'm like all right i can just do two cups of almond milk and i didn't read above it and it said a cup and a quarter so it might be a little too thin okay so don't go ahead and it try it. it I mean, it's not bad, especially considering you added three quarters of a cup of this, extra It's too liquid. liquidy. That's, that's the problem. But, it, but that's my fault. But the flavor it's pretty good. is pretty good. If it wasn't for the fact that it didn't add too much, this would probably be a lot better. Okay. My problem is the potato starch, and I feel like for a lot of people, um, that might affect their glucose. I know it would for me, so I probably would not buy that. Um, but everybody's different. Some people do use potato starch as like a resistant starch. I would probably eat this if I didn't mess it up. Okay, so price on that is five dollars per box. Never yeah, mind. It, that's a bit expensive. <laughs> Never mind. Next up, kind of want this Ultima Replenisher Electrolyte Electrolyte Hydration Mix. We've had this loads of times. We actually prefer using the Redmond one or the Perfect Keto one, but it's not bad. All right, so, oh, all right, I see you. All you right. love Ultima. So it comes with a bunch of different flavors. Okay. So you've got grape. Grape is awesome. Wow. Grape, you have raspberry, orange, lemonade, blue raspberry, and cherry pomegranate. Okay, which, which one, one are we trying? Which one do I want? Grape. I already threw it away. It's too late. Um, I'm going to go with raspberry. Okay. I like raspberry. All right. So the ingredients. I'm assuming it's probably the same for most of the other ones. But so for this one, it is magnesium citrate, citrate acid, malic acid, potassium phosphate, potassium aspirate, calcium citrate, natural raspberry flavor, salt, calcium asacobor. I don't even know that <laughs> word. Ribahide A from it's organic stevia, stevia leaf. Color blend, which is beet juice and an annatto extract, zinc citrate, and manganese, ma manganese, manganese. manganese citrate. There's too many things in there. Okay. It's What's the nutrition? Zero, 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 zero. Okay, but let's go over potassium and stuff. How much potassium? Potassium, 6%. So it doesn't say how many grams we get. I believe it's no. 250. The sodium, there's 55 milligrams. It was somewhere in the front. It's probably... No, there's not. Okay. No. So while we're waiting on this, it works out to be about a dollar a stick or a dollar a serving. Now you can buy Ultima in both these sticks. You can also buy it in a tub where you save a lot of money. I believe you get like 90 servings for that same like $36 or something like that. Well, that's not enough. That more doesn't look enough. like it's enough. It's more than enough water. I yeah. think you're supposed to mix it with like 8 ounces 16. of water. Well, that's 16 ounces of water. This mug is 26 ounces. No way this is enough. It is. So I'm saying no way this is enough flavoring. Oh. No, I guess it was. <laughs> yeah, that one's good. 
Oh, you have more in there? Not much, but. Okay, so like I said, price on those, $1 per stick, or you can buy it in a tub where it works out to be like, I think 45 cents or something like that. I like them. What's next? Um, just give me all the stuff you don't like. Whoa, hold on, never mind. <laughs> what? I saw, I didn't fully read it here. Let me take Jimmy. Jimmy bars. They, they actually, I saw these the other day in uh, Aldi. Uh, ingredients, peanuts, tapioca fiber syrup, which means they're most likely sweetening with fiber. They're playing the fiber game. Macadamia nuts, whey protein, dark chocolate coating, which is chocolate liqueur, erythritol, inulin, cocoa butter, soy lecithin, vanilla, and stevia. Then we have almonds, coconut oil, sea salt. 210 calories each, 16 grams of fat, nine grams of protein, 15 total carbohydrates, 11 grams of dietary fiber with no sugar alcohol. So it's four net carbs, but they're playing the fiber game. Um, not a big fan of the fiber game. Like most of the carbs are fiber. Your body's gonna digest that regardless like of what it tastes like. Smells like, what flavor is this? Macadamia nut, it smells like peanuts. Oh my god. That's not good. Oh my god. That's not good. That's terrible. Oh. You had a water this whole time. No. This is zip fizz. Oh my gosh. That's yuck. That's terrible. Price on those is $3 a bar. No, thank you. Don't like that at all. All right. What's next? Buffalo Ranch. Cauliflower rice. That sounds really good. Yeah, it does. That's why I took it back. All right. So where is the ingredients? All right. Rice, cauliflower, coconut milk, carrots, aged cayenne red pepper, distilled vinegar, guar gum from guar beans, black pepper, salt, garlic powder, onion powder, and parsley. Okay. Good ingredients. So the serving size is this whole pouch. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Um, nine grams of fat. Six grams of carb, three grams of fiber, two total sugars. I don't, there wasn't any. There's no sugar alcohols. Nope. Awesome. Ooh. You know, on second thought, do you want to go heat this up? <laughs> it's a little soupy. Yeah, I, I realized that. Okay. Now, the instructions said you can heat the microwave or on a stove top or on a pan. I just did it in the microwave. Probably, if you put it in a pan, it might not be quite so soupy, but it's still, it's kind of like cauliflower rice soup. You ready? I'm trying to drain as much liquid as I can off. All right, I'm good. I don't know. Where's the ranch? I think it's good. If you would have labeled it as buffalo right, cauliflower rice, I would have been all over this. It's good, yeah. It, there's it, no ranch. There's no ranch flavor. I actually find it a little bland. It's kind of like, I don't know, I got some kick, but... <laughs> okay, I find it bland. Like, it needs salt. I think it's good. It needs salt. That's yeah. what it needs. It needs salt. I don't have any salt here. Um, price on that is, it was $26 for a case of them. I think there were six of them in the case. Are we ready? Are we moving on here? Oh, I'm hungry. Okay. Um, I don't know what I want to give you. I'll give you our favorite. Legendary Foods birthday cake flavor. First flavor you ever had you loved, last flavor you did not like. The last few right. flavors have sucked. Okay, ingredients. Protein blend of micellular casein, calcium caseinate, collagen peptides, whey protein isolate. Then we have erythritol, hyaluronic sunflower oil, water, allulose, soluble corn fiber, cellulose, glycerin, contains less than 2% of vanilla, Van uh, xanthan gum, natural flavors, sea salt, sunflower less than palm oil, baking soda, palm kernel oil, gum arabic, sucralose, red number 40, yellow number 6, yellow number 5, red number 3, blue number 1, carnauba wax, and citric acid. That is a lot of ingredients. It is definitely a bit of a science project. Um, the, let's see. 
Serving size is one pastry, 170 calories per pastry, seven grams of fat, and then we have, let's see, 20 grams of protein, 24 total carbohydrates, 10 grams of erythritol, four grams of allulose, that makes it 10 carbs, and then we're looking for you have fiber. five grams of fiber, so that's five net carbs per each one. Cake style. They yeah, didn't even use birthday cake. I mean, if, I don't know. Oh, what the fudge is this? What is this? It's thick. It's very thick. It's, it's not even the right color. It's like red. <laughs> okay, this is my thing too. Like, this is me. But it says it's a cake flavor. It's a cake style. I can tell you right now, I am not going to like this. Okay. Even look, like, oh my gosh. No. 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 Nope. Nope. No. That's not good. The first few flavors they came out with were awesome. Yeah, you're trying too hard now. Stop. Quit while you're ahead. Sew that on a pillow and put it in your house. <laughs> Price on those is $2.75 per Pop-Tart or Tasty Pastry. All right, we'll go with this. Sated, sated? I don't know exactly how sated. to say it. Sated, complete keto meal shake. Okay. One point, oh, I don't need to read that. I'll go back here first. So, oh my goodness. <laughs> the ingredients, water, milk, protein isolate, olive oil, erythritol, cocoa powder, alkali, flax oil, coconut oil, vitamin and mineral blend, dietary fiber blend, which is non-GMO soluble corn fiber, acacia fiber, and cellulose, sunflower, lecithin, MCT oils, natural flavors, gallon gum, monk fruit, and stevia. Then they have a whole they bunch have a of whole vitamins. whole list of vitamins that I'm not going to read because they're too long of names. Okay. All right. Uh, one. The serving is one shake, or okay. one of these. Uh, 400 calories, 35 grams of fat, 17 total carbs, 6 grams of fiber, and less than 1 gram of sugar. So that means it is 11. No, there can't be 11. Is there allulose in it? Oh, there it is. Okay, total carbs, 17.1, 5.6 grams of fiber, 10 grams of erythritol, so it's 1.5 gram a net carb. Okay. Probably have to shake it. Well, you know we're going to have to compare this to keto chow. Yeah. I... I, do I not want to drink this? It's like salty. Nope. Nope. Hang on, I'm going to take another drink. Oh, God. <sighs> would you like forget the, to, to, would you forget to stop the salt? And it has a lot of salt. It's like salted chocolate. That's a lot of salt. I'm looking for how much sodium is in here. Way too much. 480 milligrams of sodium in there. I don't, okay, so let, way let's, too much. let's compare this to Keto Chow. So first of all, you're getting 940 milligrams of potassium, so that's actually pretty good. You are getting a good amount of vitamins. Um, but the price on this is $5, which is like actually right in line with Keto Chow if you buy the individual packets, but not if you buy the big bag. However, this is five dollars, and this is how much you're getting, as opposed to you make keto chow and you yeah, get a big, big full blender bottle, and I think it tastes better. Plus, this has got 35 grams of fat, 18 grams of protein, so you can't control the fat intake or the calories or anything like that. I, I don't know. I don't like the I don't like the the 17 total carbohydrates and six grams of fiber, and then 10 grams of erythritol. That is a lot of erythritol. I take back any bad things I've said about this cauliflower rice. It's actually really good. Is it? You like it? It's really good. Okay. Like, I'd eat this. So, price on these are $5. What's next as you're eating cauliflower rice? It's really good. Like, if you buy just that, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, there's no meat stick. That's number one. Freaking, they need to get it together. <laughs> Proudly Pure Keto Cookies. We've had, they usually give us, like, Parmesan crisps, yeah. right? Uh, chocolate chip, perfect snack size. I mean, they're going to have to compete against, like, high key. Ingredients, blanched almonds, organic guar gum, or xanthan gum. Do you not know which one you use? Guar gum or xanthan gum? 
Erythritol butter cream milk salt sugar free dark chocolate flavor drops unsweetened chocolate erythritol cocoa butter stevia extract sunflower lecithin, than tapioca fiber dried egg whites natural flavors salt cocoa powder baking soda monk fruit extract and stevia extract so it's good ingredients two servings per package 140 calories per serving nine grams of fat four grams of protein 12 total carbohydrates three grams of dietary fiber six grams of sugar alcohol so that is what four four net carbs 1.9 I'm missing something. So th 12 minus three, that's nine. Minus six is three. You're lying. I, I don't is. see where they're, I don't see where they're, there's no allulose in it. So that would make it for a half a package, three, right? 12 minus nine, three, three net carbs. So the front of their unless maybe the back is wrong and maybe it is the whole bag is one serving no well i'm gonna go by this oh. and therefore yeah it's not 1.9 net carbs it's three net carbs unless we're seeing some somewhere they look they look wet oh they are wet ew what's they're the, not crunchy what's the flavor there's no flavor over there There's no, they're not sweet. There's no flavor. Wow. Wow, so far, not not a lot of hits here. You've cauliflower rice now, man. <laughs> okay, price on those cookies, $5 a bag. You have to buy three bags. It's like $15. What's up? Oh, you did that last one. I'm going to do this one. This one looks fun. Haven't we had these before? We had this company before. I don't remember having this company. I would have remembered Wildberry Cheesecake Flavor Puffs. Well, All right. it's from like snack foods. All right, ingredients. Milk protein isolate, palm kernel oil, pro, uh, which is just palm kernel oil and soy lecithin, coca cacao solids, allulose sugar, whey protein concentrate, non-fat milk, vanilla, natural flavors, stevia, monk, ec monk fruit, sunflower lecithin, and salt. Okay, so we've had um, a, a flavor from this company before, and maybe it was with me and mom. And I was really excited when I saw this in here. All right, one serving, this is one serving, this is a good serving. 5.5 uh, grams of fat, uh, eight grams of carb, three grams of sugar, five grams of allulose, making it three net carbs. This is wild berry cheesecake flavor. I've been lied to. That's not a wild berry cheesecake flavor. That is good. That's not a wild berry cheesecake flavor. It's cheesecake flavor. That's not cheesecake flavor. I don't know. I taste all the berries. I think that is good. How about it? I think these are really, really good. I think they're better than any of the other keto From cereal. somebody who has just recently had a cheesecake that doesn't taste like cheesecake. I'm going to say that. Okay, so as I was saying... I don't know, I think it's the best tasting keto cereal out of all. It's got a really good texture, doesn't like cut your mouth. Maybe you don't like this flavor, but what about the texture of the cereal and that kind of stuff? I mean, I guess that's fine. Okay. It's like, like Captain Crunch, you eat it and like cuts the roof of your mouth. Yeah, no, I definitely don't like that. So price on these are $2.75 a pouch. You can also get it in big bags, but I like the individual servings because this way I don't overdo it. What's next? I'm gonna do that one. Smart a lot cakes. Of stuff in here. Smart cakes. We love smart cakes. Raspberry cream flavor. So the ingredients in this are eggs, purified water, proprietary fiber blend, which is oat fiber, corn fiber, and flax, erythritol whey protein isolate, olive oil, pure raspberry extract, pure vanilla, salt, cellulose gum, stevia extract, citric acid, spices, and herbs. So there's two cakes in here. If you eat one of them, it's 38 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, four grams of protein, nine total carbohydrates, five grams of dietary fiber, four grams of erythritol, making it zero net carbs. It does look like the Cheesecake Factory logo though. I just love these things.
So good. I've got an issue. Okay. A big issue. What's your issue? They advertise this as raspberry cream, mm -hmm. and I completely thought that there was gonna be cream in the middle of this. I, 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 is a good raspberry flavor. It's raspberry cream flavor. How is raspberry cream a flavor? <laughs> It's raspberry, not raspberry cream. Okay. Raspberry cream doesn't grow out in the wild. <laughs> Are you done? I mean, it's good, but I anticipated there to be cream in the middle, and there wasn't. Price on those, $3.25 for a package. We have a coupon down below. I believe it's two crazy ketos. I don't remember how much it's going to get you off. Okay. All right. A blondie brownie. Okay. I feel like we've had these before. All right, the ingredients are almond flour, almond butter, chocolate chips, which is just unsweetened chocolate, erythritol, cocoa butter, stevia, stevia glycodes, and sunflower lecithin. There's allulose, pea protein, uh, collagens, erythritol, sunflower lecithin, sea salt, natural flavor, stevia, organic rosemary extract. So, the ingredients are really good. I don't know how it's going to taste. Nutrition facts. Serving size is this is just this one bar. Five, 15 grams of fat, 17 total carb, 3 grams of fiber, 1 gram of sugar, 5 grams of sugar alcohol, making 17 There's got to be allulose in there. I heard you read allulose, didn't you? It's got... so. So it's it's claiming to be one net carb. I did read allulose. Does it say how much allulose we have? So it doesn't say. It doesn't say. But I mean, if we're gonna go off of that, I think so. There's 17 total carbs, one gram or three grams of fiber. So going down to 14, five grams of sugar, alcohol. So that would nine. Be so there there must be eight grams of allulose in here. If what they're saying is okay. Oh, up up top. top. Five gram, eight grams of allulose, yeah. Okay. Look at that. Mass Sounds good. All that education did you well. Well, oh. Doesn't look that good. Okay. That's not bad. You know what it reminds me of? The cosmic brownies you guys used to oh, eat. Oh, it does. I don't like those anymore. The older you get, the the worse. The, the more you realize that they're not that good. No, that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of cosmic brownies. It's got that same texture. Not bad. They're pretty good actually. Um, price on those are three dollars each. Is this the last item? Yeah, no meat stuck, unfortunately. Last item, crazy go nuts. We've had their walnuts before. Plain walnut butter with sea salt. Ingredients. Hopefully it's just walnuts. Walnuts and sea salt. I'll take that. So two tablespoons and a serving, 180 calories, 18 grams of fat, four grams of protein, four total carbohydrates, two grams of dietary fiber. You have a spoon? Ugh, I guess I got my cauliflower rice spoon. Okay. Here we Wow. I mean, it's not as watery as like when you get a lot of those, like, you know, natural peanut butters that don't have anything in it. I can so overdo nut butter. I'm not the biggest fan of this type of stuff. It's good. It tastes like walnuts, which is kind of weird as a nut butter. Yeah, I don't like it. I really don't like it. If you like walnuts. Sure, but who really likes walnuts? <laughs> You're going to love it. Sorry to whoever I just offended, but I'm sorry. Who likes walnuts as their favorite <laughs> nut? That's a weird nut. What like. is your favorite nut? Macadamia nuts. Of course. You've got good taste. The best one, maybe cashews. Cashews are probably the second best. Yeah, I like I like macadamia nuts and then Brazil nuts. I love Brazil nuts. So. Well, uh, so price on this stuff is $7 for the jar. That's it. That's everything. There's no meat stick this month. Anthony absolutely has a find. I don't know. There were a lot of new things in here. Not a lot of things that like were really good. I really liked this. 
How much was this? Um, How much would I be willing to pay for this? I, I believe it is like $6 for a pouch, but I, I wrote the price here wrong, so I've got it down below on the screen. Because I know it's not $26. I was going to say, it's $26. It's, $26. it's $26, I think, for a case. Um, so, but I don't remember. I would pay six dollars for this. Like, it's heart, really good. In a heartbeat, I'd pay six dollars for this. There's well, no question. That was good. The cereal was good. Um, the brownie was pretty good. I don't know what else we got. I think I feel like that was pretty much everything that was good. The pudding would have been good if I didn't mess it up. Yeah, but I wouldn't have that pudding because of the potato starch. Okay, well, you do you because of potato starch. Ooh. And the Ultima is obviously really good. I mean, Ultima, if you ever want to send us stuff, I'd gladly take some. <laughs> Let us know down in the comment section if you've tried any of these things and what your favorite thing was. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I have right over here. But whether you head that way or you head that way, make sure you head this way. Subscribe to our channel and also make sure you hit that little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. And until next time, bye. bye.